We're here with Adrian Cutcliffe, Marketing Manager of Blackboard. We're at the Institute of Fundraising National Convention in London. Adrian, tell us about Blackboard's sponsorship and involvement in the event. Uh, well, Blackboard, as you can see, have uh, one of the largest stands at, uh, at the conference, which we're delighted to be participating in once again. We're also, for the first time, and I think for the first time at the conference, sponsoring SMS. Uh, and also, uh, probably more importantly, we're also sponsoring uh, one of the major awards that, were, that was delivered uh, last night by our managing director, Martin Jervis, for the uh, best donor development campaign. And uh, so, so that's our involvement. When, it, when we look at SMS, we're particularly interested in that because it's a product that we uh, produced specific for the UK market. Given that Blackboard's a, a US-centric organisation, it's very important that, that our local clients understand that we develop for the, for the local market needs. And SMS is clearly one of those particular developments that we've, that we've undertaken. Um, so the, the, announce, the announcements have been along the lines of prepare well for the conference. We were going to try and put out some traffic news, but we didn't, I didn't get in on, in the, on time this morning <laughs> to give out some traffic news about, uh, about the Victoria Line being down. Um, and uh, naturally, as part of the promotion that we're doing, we obviously want people to be aware of what we're doing at the, uh, at the stand to attract people on, onto the stand, which is around our theme of Know Your Supporter. And a bit of fun, sorry whilst I'm in that way, a bit of fun is that we, uh, we talk about Know Your Supporter and we're giving away <laughs> games on the, on the stand, which is around Guess Who. So um, the, the game symbolising wish that the Know Your Supporter theme that we'd be going out, so Guess Who is a nice game for people to come on and get involved. Uh, on the serious side of that, uh, we are inviting uh, people to come along and join our an online presentation where we talk about knowing your supporter and linking that into uh, the software that we, we bring to the market, which is uh, the Racer's Edge uh, and, uh, and a multitude of other pieces of software that allow to uh, enhance their supporter experience and their development campaigns. And you've got speakers, staff speaking at the event, what have they covered? Yes, we've had uh, two, two colleagues that have come over to speak, a gentleman called Steve McLaughlin who's talking about online media and how it's, uh, how it's been working in the US and he, pre he presented a, a, a number of stats about the importance of online versus offline and the fact that it doesn't necessarily mean that online alone works, there is still that, that message that online and offline work together. And also there were some interesting stats that he gave around the age difference in the sense that the largest growing areas of online was, was the 40 pluses and uh, that, that, was, that was trend information which was very important from which people can make their own judgments about what to do. Of course you have the flickers and we're obviously doing some online media now um, so if people are listening to this and they'll get an indication of other ways in which they can talk to members within their community. So uh, he was talking about that, how it affected in the US market and just making people aware of well, that could happen over here, try some stuff, you don't have to go all the way, you may want to try some little stuff first and see what works for you. We've also got tomorrow, uh, so Wednesday, we've got Carol Ryan talking about how benchmarking can benefit direct marketeers. So in other words, getting, a, getting an assessment about the historic performance of your uh, donor database, uh, lapsed donors, uh, recurring, how you use different methods of, um, of, of recruitment, whether that be telephone fundraising, whether that be direct mail, whether that be face to face, which ones are the most successful and how well you can keep your donors thereafter. So she'll be talking a little bit about that. I have to say that's around the US market predominantly. We're just launching a, the, the benchmarking product now. We have a number of clients that are already um, are very involved with us on benchmarking. So it'll be interesting to see when we have our first meeting in November this year, how that begins to look for our client base. So uh, I would say have a look out for some of the benchmarking that we'll be doing later this year. People may choose to listen from Carol tomorrow. Yeah. Tell us more about what's coming up with Blackboard product developments or events. You've got an event. Well, uh, the biggest event, of course, is our own conference. Uh, we have a conference on the 12th or 13th of October. Uh, it is a user conference predominantly. This year, we're opening it out to uh, prospects as well. We feel that the that the content is such that it offers something to non-users. Um, we also want to. The, the content is very much around the practitioner. Focus. In other words, best practice, how best to get 
your direct mail to your audience and how best to get email through spam filters and so on and so forth. Um, data protection is a very important subject to cover as well. So we've got a multitude of what we consider to be domain experts, not that broad necessarily, coming in to talk to you about um, how to better, how to do your job better, how to be more effective, work smarter, not harder, if you, if you, if you would like the phrase that way. So uh, we're calling it the Relationship Management Conference. It's, uh, it's already launched. Have a look at our website. Um, and have a look at the session group. There's some very, very good speakers there. I would say that. On, uh, on the product front, uh, Blackboard are renowned for the Razor Search, market leaders in, uh, in, our, in, in that uh, area. Um, what we're mindful of is having one of the best pieces of, uh, best uh, solutions on the market, but also we're looking to see how we support all ranges of, uh, of organisations. So not only do we appeal to the top end, the top 300 charities or the top 100, we're also looking to appeal to uh, organisations that would like to have the best, but perhaps at a more reduced price. So we have a single user license for the Razor's Edge. We also have a SaaS version, so that's software as a service uh, version of the Razor's Edge. That people can get at a far more cost-effective way. The benefit of using software as a service, of course, is you're not having that IT infrastructure, you're not having to employ people specifically one-to-one. -one. And of course, then the security of data and the security of using the latest platform is taken care of by Blackboard rather than you as, as an individual. So a lot of the problems are taken away. So you get the, get the benefit, if you like, of having the, the big field, but of course paying a slightly less price for those small organisations that would just like to have a software as a service option at that low end. And where can we find out more about Blackboard? Well, naturally the website. You can go to blackboard.co.uk or you can go call us uh, on, a, on a number 0845. Uh, 658 8590 or indeed email us at solutions at blackboard.co.uk Adrian Cutcliffe of Blackboard, thank you very much. Thank you very much.